It's no secret that I love watching runway shows. They're a great way to get inspiration for your next upcycle. So last season, Agni Studios had a series of drawstring bags with these really cool graphics on the front and a chain handle. I already had everything I needed to make something like this, so let's get right into it. I'm Angelina and this is Blueprint DIY where we remake our clothes to be just as unique as us. Okay, so I'm gonna make my bag out of this leftover from when I made the two-tone jeans. And I do have a whole playlist of how to upcycle your old jeans. So first I'm gonna take my leftover piece of jeans and fold it in half. Then I'll use a ruler to draw straight lines. So I basically have one long rectangle. And I'm actually gonna cut along the line with dull scissors because I want the sides to fray once it's done. And the dull scissors help it to fray more. Then I'll cut off what used to be the hem of the pants because that end will be folded in and sewn down for the chain gathering at the opening of the bag. Okay, so now it's time to pick our graphic. I have this really cool zombie t-shirt that I thrifted and at the time I was only wearing it to bed so I thought it would be perfect for this. So I just cut the graphic out with a ruler and a rotary cutter. Then I added fray check on the edges because I wanted that edge to stay super crisp. Once the fray check was dry, I used heat and bond to make it iron onto the denim. For the heat and bond, you cut a piece the same size as your graphic and iron it with the shiny side on the back of the graphic. Next, I trim off any excess paper and then remove the paper revealing the new iron-on shiny surface. Lastly, you'll lay the shiny side down on the denim and just iron it onto the denim. And because I wanted to give mine some extra reinforcement, I sewed it down along the edge with gold thread. Now we can put this bag together. First, I'm gonna double fold the top edge and sew it down along the lower edge, leaving enough room for the chain to get through. Then I'll sew down the side seams. I'm gonna keep it folded right side out because I want my edges to be frayed. If you don't want any fray, fold the bag inside out to sew the side seams. And remember to leave the top part where the chain will go through open on at least one side. Once the side seams are in, I'll just pull the threads a bit on the side to create the fray. Lastly, I'll add a safety pin to the chain and work it through. So there you have it, a designer bag without the designer price. And the great thing is that the graphic can be anything that speaks to you. I have a video that goes along with this one where I talk about all my favorite upcycle tools, the ones in this video and some others, and you can check that out here. And definitely subscribe so you don't miss what I do next. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.